Good morning. Sunday, 2nd of August. Well, aren't we all having a, a joyous and wonderful summer? Not. Um, we'll show you around my plot, see what's been happening, and uh, we'll have a cup of tea first before we uh, get going. So, we'll show you around. Well, let's have a walk down through allotment, see what we've got on here. Um, runner beans, they're doing fine now, they're uh, getting quite tall. We've got some, well, they're not runner beans, they're uh, climbing French beans, Blue Lake, and they're very nice. Um, we'll get a pick of these. Yep, that'll do nicely, and then let's come round here. We've got us. Sorry about that. Sunflower. And uh, this was covered in ladybirds this morning. Let's see if you can see that one. We've got it. And another one up there. Yeah, being covered in uh, ladybirds. Same with the uh, climbing French beans. We've got them all over. I suppose it's a good thing. Oh, come on. Is that one of the uh, big bossy ones, the black and orange? Don't know. I'm sure one of you will tell me. Or is it the orange ones? Anyhow, there is uh, runner, so we're, we're going to get a picking of these today. Right, let's spin you around here, please. First green shaft, they're all, all ready for picking. Oh, we, we're getting quite a few that's ready for picking. Uh, been testing these, and also these are uh, Alderman. And they're a very nice flavoured pea, a lot better than the first green shaft. Salad onions, they're all doing great. Beetroot, turnip, and sweet. Oh, first cabbage white I've seen. So while we're down there, we'll have a look in the polytunnel. Cucumber plants are doing great. We're getting plenty of flowers on. I've had two cucumbers off this plant. Tomatoes, they're now catching up, they're not doing bad, they've uh, got one or two on, uh, plenty of fruit. So they're doing okay, that's, there's a couple of them, this one, that came up from the, uh, from the root. So I'm letting it grow, I just take them two big side shoots off and just to see what's, what happens with them. I've got another one there, that's the same, but it's coming from the root base as opposed to a side shoot. Oh, and another one. Um, so I'm letting them grow because we're getting fruit setting on them and they're doing well. Down this end, these are the self set um, little cherry tomatoes. Got hundreds on them again. And then back up here. But I've noticed on this side of the greenhouse, and it's weird, I've got leaf curl, but look as though they're drying off. Which is weird. And again, this is a, a self set one. Let's see if I can show you the tomatoes. So, they're lovely sized tomatoes. And again, back up to this side. And I said this side, it's oh, dried off, died off, in fact. And again, another self set. 
doing brilliantly. And then the cucumelons. Mmm. Someone tell me that they grow all over. But we'll see what they're doing. They're attached there. Cucumber plant on this side. We've got plenty of cucumbers on. Them two are getting picked today. Loads of cucumber set in. And I've had the polish on clothes this week uh, just because of the weather. It's been cold, it's been windy. So I closed it up and we've now got a maximum of 52.3. It's now 34.4 and been as low as 8.0. Hundred and twenty six point one, ninety one point nine, and forty six point four. Reset that, let's see what we get. Let's have a look around the rest of the plot. Potatoes, I'll have to do a potato reveal on me, me earlies, just show you them. They're all coming fine now. Again, weeded. Um, Well, there's brassicas. I've finally got something that's forming something like a, a broccoli. <laughs> so we'll uh, keep an eye on that and watch it. Um, three more cabbages. They're now forming lovely tight heads there. Well, the odd ones are. Some of Yeah. They're doing well. And then, let's go back around here, red cabbages. Of course, we don't want red cabbages like the tech ages, they're all leaves. There we're going. And then my early ispies, they're now nearly done. I keep picking them, but uh, with the weather, they're blowing. I think they're broccoli as well. Right, shallots, there's a broom. I think they're now nearly ready, but we'll see what they're doing. We'll leave them till they drop over. Pickling onions, I picked a few of them, so I'll show you them because they'll go with the cucumber. Slice them up, slice the cucumber, get them in a jar of onion, er, uh, on, not onion, in a jar of vinegar, absolutely gorgeous. So this is where the onions were, we've now reseeded, we've got a row of beetroot, a row of turnip, radishes, and another row of lettuce. Plenty of weeds coming on again. Right, cherry tree, that's now growing. There's no cherries on this year, but you don't expect it first year. Apple tree growing, it's doing fine. And then I need to weed, but can you remember my fruit cage I was going to build? I've not built it yet, but after planting all them plants, I've got one there. labelled it oh, and a raspberry there so that will pour showing out of uh, six plants so rethink this and probably get some more but not from Wilkinson's right let's have another walk up this top end here so as I said we'll uh, have a look at the potatoes and uh, oh, let me show you the sunflower. So I've got the sunflower at that end. This sunflower is more formed on the, the flower itself. Let's just show you. So this is falling naturally. It um, must be about 14 foot tall, that. <laughs> um, I'll just do a tater reveal then. Uh, let's see what these taters look like. Uh, these are 
spud them when we first early and it's the bogus so let's see what we're getting. That's a sea potato there. If you can see that, that's not bad that for a uh, single planting. And then, as I said, well, there's a red, red tater there plant growing. I think that would have rolled one left from last year. We'll pick that up, see how we get on. Right, I've been drying my onions out there, they've been done a while. I'll just show you how I string them up, it's not a, a be all and end all um, but it's just the way that I do it let's show you so I've got my, my twine I don't know if you can see that, I've caused a loop right pick my onions the first one thread it through wrap it round twist it over and that will down. Fill you in. A bit smaller that one. Thread it in. Wrap it round. 
twist it over on itself and down. Wrap it round, twist it over on top of itself and then we'll go on. Down, over, and on. Up it down, twist it over, and on. And to get to that state, probably on the end, that, that's it. Just pull it, and it's all come off. Get rid of them bits, with the old dead skin. Give it a nice up. And again. Wrap it round. Twist it over. Done. I'll see if I can get you to close up on that. A bit awkward because I've got neighbours in the garden. But, uh, right. Let's see if I can get down to that. See if we can zoom in a bit and see what it's doing. That makes you dizzy, isn't it? Them, them going. So you've got your onion. Let's see if I can show you what it does. Put it in. Leave about an inch and a half, thread it round, you only need to do it once really, and then twist the onion over the top of the stalk, and there you go. Twist it round. Flop it over the top. There you are. One bunch. Oh, I hope I got it. I mean, turn back out a bit. I'll do another one for if I didn't get it. Thread it through. Turn it round, twist it over, wait to the onion, I'll keep it there. I think that got it. Right, while I'm uh, in the greenhouse, my garlic, let's just show you that, that's drying out now. This one, one, I'll just check, let me see where it... Uh, See where we're looking. And again it wants a little bit of an air cut. Come up there. Ooh. Ow. Not very good scissors there, are they? But, uh, need to get some more. See if I can tell the missus that they've gone missing out of the kitchen. Air cut. And as you can see there, let me show you the bulb. Just pull that off. I've got one going monkey, which would a good job of check that out. So I've got, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One down there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
I'm not going to have that one. That's gone monkey. 15. And after that one. So, there you go. We're not doing bad that. Back to the smells, absolutely gorgeous. Pull that back in there. The another one that just picked up, but you just didn't pick it up. Not pick no better ones or, or worse ones. And no, we don't get ice cream delivered to the allotment. <laughs> My allotment is on the end, near the houses. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, another good plant. Green one. Don't know why that's green. They want drying out a bit more. I think they were. Uh, just need to drain out a bit more of these ones. So that's what we'll do, we'll get them up off the floor and, and into this one here and Get them dried out. Right, and we'll just have a look at today's pickings. Oh, there's, there's Zach, he's getting ready for home. Um, so yeah, I suppose we've got the uh, Blue Lake runner beans. We've got a bag of peas. Got a bag of turnip, er, uh, taters, a pickle in a beetroot, and then a cup of cucumber, it's the carriage, cabbage, carriage. There's my pickling onions that's going to go with me cucumber, and then my little turnip. There you go. So, let's just get uh, some more, that's, whew, that's about it for today, it's uh, coming up to one o'clock, uh, I think I'll take these out, I don't know whether I'll be able to pass off them peas to the wife for podding, we'll give it a go, eh? but what, what's my chances, I bet it's next to nil, anyhow, till the next time, happy gardening, Hope everything grows well for you. See you later.